Kelsitten, a hideous sham of a town in which the prosperous citizens have no gripes or moans. Sadly, even the children are happy and secure. This is because they aren't punished for non-existent crimes. Yeah, Kelsitten. This is the area you see here is the base of the campaign map and all the possible sites you can hit. enter. Some of them are optional, so I think you need to unlock them by finding some kind of a secret from one of the missions. Uh, I have no recollection of uh, any of these. I do have some recollection about this game, but the problem is it's about, I think it's they're more about Tung Dungeon Keeper 2 and not this one. They're very, very similar games, so they're easy to mix up. Let's go see. Hopefully, this will provide uh, at least some interesting things. The previous one was still sort of a uh, how to build, how to build your own dungeon, do real basic stuff. Hopefully, something, something a little bit more interesting in this one. Gold. Save. Game saved. Okay. Remember the lessons you learned in Brana Hall. You must build a treasure room, a lair, and a hatchery, and you will need to claim a portal. Build rooms in squares of at least nine tiles to increase efficiency. Yeah. Efficiency is the key. Possess creatures by choosing the Possess spell from the research panel and left clicking on the creature you want to control. Right click to leave. Yeah, the Possession, it's not really something you want to use. It's more of a... If you want to go doing something special that requires you to do th things in a very specific way, like exploration. But uh, otherwise it's not all that useful. It's a nice, nice feature though. Uh, we are gonna need money, aren't we? An entrance has been claimed. To build a lair for your creatures. When imps have no other orders, they run around reinforcing your dungeon. Fortified walls keep out intruders. Rooms with reinforced walls make your creatures feel more at home and heroes more terrified. You need to build a lair for your creatures. I know, I know. You must build a treasure room to store gold. Do something new in this. And we probably want to gain access to this extra gold area too. Yeah. You will need to make your creature stronger. In a training new room, your creatures can form their fighting skills, gain new abilities, and learn more powerful spells. That's a uh, that's definitely a key aspect to successfully playing this game. Untrained creatures are 
pretty much worthless. I, I mean, they're n terrible at eating a pipe. Plan proceeds smoothly, Keeper. Allow your imps time to fortify the walls of your dungeon. This increases the efficiency of rooms and repels would be major. Ooh, we got a demon spawn. Train creatures to train creatures. Drop them in the training room. The number that occasionally appears about the creature's head indicates how much gold it has cost for that creature to train. Um, I don't want this many flies to store. Your creatures need a bigger lair. I'll accept beetles and demon spawn. are you doing? Your creatures need a bigger lair. Your creatures need a bigger lair. Yeah, so why don't you fucking claim? Some of my imps to train up to because basically you get new special abilities when you level up or train. Even imps get. I'm not quite sure what the levels levels needed really are. Just cost gold, so creatures need a bigger lair. Again. Do we really need it. Your creatures need a bigger lair. Probably need a uh, larger hat hatchery than two. Doing nothing but excavating gold, that's pretty much the problem. You just need a bigger lab. You need a bigger training room. I'm not making a bigger training room. Heroes are already on their way. Make sure your creatures are well trained and ready for the attack. The heroes will you will face. The heroes you will face in this realm are tougher than those you made it made in Brana Hall. Uh, I'm not really concerned about that. I need you to stop getting gold. Though. You need a bigger treasure room. Just need a bigger lair. 
again. Yeah, okay, checking through here. Your creatures need a bigger lair. They're gonna break through somewhere. Might be better off letting breaking the wall ourselves. They can't seem to go through the reinforced walls. So they're sort of uh, going around us, and that's the problem. It is payday. <laughs> you have tunneled into a new area. Your creatures are attacking. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Your minions are winning a battle. Going for the treasury. It's an old bitch. Yeah, it's going down. Your minions are winning a battle. Okay, that's where the enemies are appearing from. That Okay, we could use a larger layer, I suppose. Mostly the demon spawn seem to be doing training here. Uh, the beetles and the fly seems to be totally wor worthless. Your creatures are under attack. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. I don't particularly care what happens. Your minions are winning a battle. What happens to the beetles? Your minions are winning a battle. Okay, another group coming from the south. You have tunneled into a new area. Your creatures are under attack. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Uh, at least the, winning a battle. At least the you guy on the Lord of the Land approaches. We on, shall send you back to the pit, foul one. It seems like the guy on, a bigger treasure room. on level 
the demon spawns that are reach level 4. Have some kind of a special long range attack ability. There it comes. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Your creatures are falling in battle. Your creatures are under attack. Yeah, he's. It should be no problem with the demon spawn. Your minions are winning a battle. You have conquered this realm. Harder the hero harder the heroes may have been, but they were obvi obviously no match for you, of course. Yep. We're free to move on to new things. It's sort of hard to control who the hell is here to come in for reason. And 14 units this time. Payday is coming up, costs about 1300. Trading costs money. Anyway, that's a waste. But. We want to see what else is here. Certainly go. Bastards. Size here is much smaller than in the beginning. Uh, I'll quickly ex excavate some of the edges to see if there's anything special here. Especially this one could hold something. There's some kind of steam coming here. So this might have a, be a special area of some kind. What are imps doing? Level two. You need a bigger training room. Yeah, they're getting the gold. Uh, I guess it's mining gold. Mining gold has the highest priority. Ah, uh, yeah. Hero gates. You have tunneled into a new area. It is payday. And ooh, some kind of a treasure room that you can take control of after. See if there's anything else of interest. Doesn't really matter much at this point, but you 
have taken control of a new room. You have tunneled into a new area. Yeah, yeah. There might be nothing here, that's certainly a possibility. I'd like to know. You have tunneled into a new area. One of them has speed. What's, what's your level? Level 3, I guess. It works much faster than the others. Much, much, much faster. Just a blur. Into a new area. So, level 3 seems to be an important threshold for our creatures. At least for him. Yeah. yeah, we can't do anything about the hero gate. I still don't like to see what the hell is here, or if, even if there is anything here. I guess I'll have to wait for a while. What are our imps doing anyway? Pointless course crap. You have tunneled into a new area. We can do this. If you want to do something properly, do it yourself. Okay, we have two abilities. Attack and excavation fleet. It certainly looks like there's nothing here. It's just the hero gate. Yep. So, mission over.
and the stats. Uh, I, I don't particularly see much point in going through all these steps. Uh, I mean stats. Oh, at least we got more some kind of a taste of what you can find. So if we could have gone after the little minor gold scene first, we could have basically gotten a free treasure room full of gold. Not that it really matters here. Also, we'll have to consider the training room, not just in the sense that how big do we want it, but in the sense that we have a limited amount of time before the mission moves forward to its final conclusion. So we'll have to make some choices on who do we want to train in there. It seems to take quite quite some time to train any anything to any acceptable level. So I guess you'd want to have at least a couple of imps to level three because the speed of how what they do things is vastly increased on level three. I think they can get some kind of speed enhancement. And it uh, just looking at the demon spawns, I'm not sure what level they sort of gained their range attack, but it made a huge difference in their efficiency in combat because they now could didn't have to go next to the enemy and they could support their other creatures with fairly effective range attacks. So training differently is the key to any kind of a success successful attempt on completing any kind of harder fight so you you want to as soon as possible get some units tra train, trained up otherwise i don't see how you could fight against the enemy they'll, they'll probably get more special abilities just like you are so if you encounter high level creatures and only you have like low level creatures yourself this uh i Probably a very high chance that you're you have very little chance of encountering them. <laughs>